There are nearly a million Scots living elsewhere in the UK and there have been suggestions that they should get a vote in any second independence referendum. In 2014, only those registered in Scotland had a say. Now, analysis for BBC Scotland by polling expert Sir John Curtis suggests we could still be looking at a yes majority right now, even with that expanded franchise. Here's our political reporter, David Wallace Lockhart. Home to vote at Dublin Airport in 2018. Some Irish people living abroad, but still eligible, came back to have their say in their abortion referendum. Final question. And American citizens will take part in the upcoming elections, no matter where they live. So, if there's a second independence referendum, could all people born in Scotland, but living elsewhere in the UK, be given a vote? Fred Halsworth, who moved to Cambridge recently, thinks so. A foreign student from anywhere in the world, Let, let's just say a foreign student, English-speaking foreign student from, from Europe, whether it be Polish, German or whatever, can float over for a short course um, in Scotland and get a vote. And I'm just down the road, having lived my entire life there and with business interests there and not get a vote is, quite frankly, it's, 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 it's a fiddle. It's an idea former Scottish Secretary Malcolm Rifkind has entertained. Well, there is a powerful argument for that. Um, and uh, I understand that there are practical reasons why it might be complicated, but it's going to be much more of an issue if we have another referendum as to why shouldn't all Scots anywhere in the United Kingdom uh, vote on the future of Scotland in the United Kingdom. So what would it do to current independence support if around 900,000 Scots living elsewhere in the UK had a say? The best data we have is the British Election Survey of 2014, which sought the opinion of almost 400 Scots who fit this profile. In 2014, Scots living elsewhere in the UK were more pro-union than people living in Scotland. If they still split the same way and chose to vote, they'd bring the current polling average down from about 54% for independence to around 50.4%. Still suggesting a majority for yes, albeit a narrow one. I mean, there is no doubt that if you were to um, give the vote to Scots born living in the rest of the UK, it will make it more difficult for the yes side. And to that extent, at least, the reason as to why those on the union side might be toying with this idea is indeed fairly obvious. But the point is, once you work through the arithmetic, well, yes, it would make a difference. But it may already be the case, at least at the moment at least, that support for yes is at a level that it might still produce a yes majority. The Scottish Government say those who live in Scotland should be those who decide on Scotland's future. The UK Government maintains the issue was settled decisively in 2014. David Wallace Lockhart, reporting Scotland.